All right, guys, here's what we are working on today. It is a, I believe, a late 90s Dino Air uh, BMX bike. Got this from one of my contacts. I bought it to originally sell it, um, and it brought back too many memories of my childhood. So I ended up paying, I think he charged me like 25 bucks for this. Um, I probably could get uh, in the range of, I think, uh, $750, $1,000 for it, but I can't do it. I like it too much. So um, I've ridden it around for a little bit. It's fun to ride with my kids and ride their bike. Uh, they ride along with me. Uh, so, but today we have a flat tire and I'm going to change out the tire tube on it. And the same steps that I'm gonna take to do this, you could change out the whole tire or just change out the tire tube. Uh, a couple things you're gonna need, air pump, uh, if you have a, a electric air pump, use that sucker. If you don't, you can always use a cheap little uh, air pump like this. Uh, you, they use this for like footballs and basketball, stuff like that. You're gonna need a pump to pump it up. Also need the replacement tire. Uh, this bike tire is a 20 inch. You can see I bought a 20 inch. This just came from Walmart. Bought a 20 inch uh, uh, tire. This one has slime in it. So if it does get another hole in it, hopefully it will fill it with slime and it won't go down on it. You need a couple of tools that you're gonna need. For a normal bike, you could just get away with some crescent wrenches or wrenches. But as you can see, there's pegs on this. So BMX bikes, they have pegs. You're gonna need an actual uh, socket set, which I have here, a socket set to get in with a socket and also a extension. So this extension will allow me to uh, jump in there with the right socket, put it in there and loosen it up. And that is all that we're gonna really need for this addition that we're doing for just changing out the tire tube on a BMX bike. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is actually turn the bike upside down. Anytime you're working on tires, the tubes, anything like that, it's way easier to put the bike upside down. So flip the bike over is the first thing you gotta do. Once you got it flipped over, we're gonna find the right size socket with the extension, and I'm gonna loosen up both of these nuts with that. All right, the winner is size 15, so try that 15 millimeter. Uh, that is the socket that I need. I'm gonna go ahead and get the ratchet. We'll get it loosened up. All right, once you get them loose, it'll just slide right out. You don't have to take the nuts all the way off. Um, you can if you want. Uh, I just left them on here so I could get it loose enough to slide it out of the little, uh, as you can see, there's uh, slots inside the front fork. You can do that. Now what I'm gonna do is make sure all the air is out and then I'm gonna try and pull these uh, the bead off of it. So stay tuned. So there's still a little bit of air in here. Make sure you have all the air out of it. You can use a tool uh, to take the valve stem out. I don't know where my tool is right now, so I'm just gonna use a screwdriver, push down in on the inside of the valve stem, make sure all the air is out of it, and then we should be able to uh, release it all the way. So if you look at that, now that is nice and loose. If you can't do it by your hand, by pushing down and around it, You can get a screwdriver. I mean, this isn't a Phillips, it's a, I mean, a, a flathead, this is a Phillips, but you still can get something in there and pull it out like that. So that is our old tube. One thing that you do wanna do, you can, I'm debating whether or not, you wanna look in there and make sure that there's no sharp edges or anything in there sharp that can pop the tube. So just do a visual inspection. Also, uh, run your finger along that inside. That looks pretty good. All right, now let's go ahead and pull out the new tube. 
one thing you need to be careful when you are putting on the new tube, you wanna put a little bit of air in it first, but if you're using the screwdriver to get it back, which you don't have to use the screwdriver, you don't wanna pop a hole in it with whatever screwdriver you're using. So be very careful if you're doing that. They also give you, if you buy stuff off of Amazon, they'll give you kits. Um, that will come with a, uh, the, it's a plastic tire thing. You can use that as well. I'm gonna step to the compressor and blow this up a little bit. All right, once you get some air in the tube itself, uh, you don't want it super high. You just want enough so it's not flat. We're actually gonna pull the valve stem off of it and go in, you wanna put the valve stem in first, go inside the tire with the tube and try to line the valve stem up where the hole is, push that in and down through the, the hole first. Once you get that in, put the valve stem cover back on it Finish popping the tire up into, or the tube up into the tire. That's it, it's back, it's in the right spot. Now you let's air it up. Bring the compressor over. Once you get a little bit of air in it, see if you can get it to uh, pop into place. Make sure the, uh, the tire bead is in the right spot. And I think we're ready to go. That's it. That is the new tire tube. I'm gonna throw it right back on the same way we pulled it off, tighten it back up. And that's the tire tube put into a BMX bike tire. So hopefully this helped guys. All right, we got it. So let's give it a try.